well until someone gave me a lease uh, to the Red House and then made it in the store over all the good ambitions. Um, okay, I'm really, really happy this week to introduce my guest Sarah Ross from the Refugee Rights Action Network. And Sarah's going to come and talk about some real life experiences and detention centres and the problems that are affecting um, people today who are trying to um, come to Australia for humanitarian reasons. Uh, we're also very happy to have Aaron here as well, who's going to share his um, story, but I'll let Sarah introduce him more for you. So, um, yeah, please also feel free to ask questions. Um, so it's it's done after questions done. very much. Uh, so if anything comes to mind, you might want to put their hands up. Great. Okay, I'll let you take it away. <laughs> Is there oh, any way we can drop the computer so we can actually um, I can't make yeah, contact? So Ah, uh, she does exist. You're amazing, Lydia. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Thank you at the back. Can you okay? Cool. Um, thank you, Lydia. My name is Sarah. I'm with the Refugee Rights Action Network. So part of my role in RAG is that I visit in detention centres. So there's a detention centre in Northern, in Aaron Park in Perth. I visit that detention centre every weekend and have done so for about the past year and six months. I've also visited in Curtin Detention Centre, which is up in Derby, in the middle of the desert, Leonora, um, children in Darwin, um, and in other detention centres over east. 